What up, Heart Squad? My new studio! It's ready and it's inside there! The question is, are you ready? Well, I'm gonna give every one of you the grand tour of my new studio. Let's, let's go on in and check it out. Squad, you have been waiting, I have been waiting, but I present to you my studio! We are gonna go through the grand tour of every single area of the studio. But I quickly wanted to say, my Ninja Heart shirt from what I just wore on the show, American Ninja Warrior, if you would like to get your own Ninja Heart shirt, Email me, my email is in the description below. So I thought we would start off with the glass case. This is the first thing that you see when you walk into the studio. So this glass case is made from the store Ikea. I built it by myself, was very difficult. I suggest you do not do that. But as you're sitting on the inside, this thing is filled with sealed Pokemon card nostalgia. Yes, that is a Crystal Charizard right over there, and those are sealed Wizards of the Coast packs. Skyridge, a first edition base set pack, sealed base set booster box, and of course the starter deck that you've seen before, signed by the original illustrator of the card game, Mitsuhiro Arita, if you're watching. Thanks for watching. Anyway, this is what you see when you first walk in. I wanted to start off with a boom when you enter, and you enter from this door. This door was custom made, solid core, helps with the sound, and there was no door when I first moved in here. I added the door. I added the foam at the bottom because there was a hole down there, and so you know you gotta plug it up as much as you can. Then I also added this curtain, which folds out all the way, which I didn't do there, and that helps with the sound, and it actually makes a difference. Next up on this side, I put foam on the walls of my studio. You'll see it goes across basically the same height across the entire thing. That helps with the echo in the room because there's nothing on the top. There's just wood floor and it really does echo, but more on that later. Let's go check out my lovely silver play button for when I passed 100,000 subscribers. I thought I would show that also right when you walk in. Really does make a great impression. Soon that will be a million or half a million because we're almost about to hit 500,000 subscribers. Uh, let's see, what else? There's the entire equipment, which I will go through, I promise. So I thank y'all for your patience. On this wall, just a little more Pokemon nostalgia. In a little frame, I got the three Kanto region stars, Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. Definitely let me know in the comment section who you'd pick. There's a backpack that I thought just looks really cool and adds some color to the room, so I added that there. You'll also see, on the ground, I got two random carpets, which essentially are the colors of Pokemon, or at least a Pokeball, or the Pokemon Center. So I got a white one there, red one over there. There are two different separate ones, but I thought that added color to the room, and it also helps with the sound as well. So I thought that was great. Going on to more of sound-related things, that, the blinds over there, and the blinds on those doors over there are blackout blinds. So essentially, pull them down, pull them up. They do a great job of getting rid of the light. I don't have it all the way down, obviously, over there right now, but it also helps out with the sound as well. All right, now you're noticing this big shelf. I thought, let's go crazy with the background of my videos, make it very, very nice and colorful, and that is what the end result is right now. So before I go into that, I did want to hit up my new equipment. And you're seeing something that has never been done before in Pokemon card unboxings or almost probably any unboxings. I have my basic setup over here. The monitor. My first monitor that I got is a 34-inch Alienware monitor. Let's see, there's the logo right there. So it's an Alienware monitor. It's uh, 
really, really big. Like you're seeing my hand right there. That's how big the monitor is. My old monitor, which is, I think was like 27 inch or 24 inch, put that on the top, mount those to the wall, try to hit the cables in the back over there. It looks pretty sleek. I like the job done over here. I think that's a G502 mouse from Logitech. Viper keyboard, even, and you can tell I like uh, the RGB colors a lot, even my uh, mouse pad, which I decided to get a bigger one for this, spreads across the entire table, so it's much easier than just the small one for the mouse. That also colors around too. And then of course, I added some colors down to the bottom down there. Those actually change colors across the entire room. You can see it going all the way across. Also, as far as before I get into audio and video, this is where the unboxings will take place. And as of myself recording this video, I have not yet recorded a video in here. However, that will be changed. By the time you see this video, I probably already will have. So for now, I have a poster board that acts as a white bottom, but then you're seeing something that has never been done before. I mounted an actual 32 inch frameless monitor that will be the background of my card unboxings. Right now, I just have the basic Leonhardt logo background, but I'll put PowerPoint stuff, I'll put videos, different things will pop up in the background to make it ever changing and more exciting for you, the viewer, the Heart Squad. I thought that was really cool, haven't seen it. Another thing that I am changing up, I will no longer be using those webcams, which is like the Logitech C920 Office Edition Plus, uh, for my main webcam, what I will be using is now my Canon Rebel SL2. I have that up on a tripod in the back. It was very difficult to set it all up. That will be my 1080p 60 frames per second. Later on, I'll do 4K. That comes out, hits my face. It's going to look very nice in HD for y'all. This is a um, Rode Swivel where I mounted my new mic, a Shure 7... I think it's like a 7B, 7MB mic. Very state of the art. Very, very happy with that mic. So hopefully the audio will be a work in progress, but I have it instead of right below me over here, it's gonna be above me. So now I won't be hitting the mic or anything when I'm doing my unboxings. Very, very happy about that in that regard. One more thing about the video. As you can see, I have one camera there, then I have my Logitech, my old camera, over there. I will be doing two camera Pokemon card unboxings. You heard that right. Multiple angle unboxings. One front camera and then a side camera to get even more reaction goodiness for y'all. And then of course, I got some, whoa, sorry about that. I have one light on, that light over there is off. I have some LED lights that I got. There's the uh, other one that's in the back. It's not on right now. And then going back over here really quickly for my audio, since I am really trying to step it up with the audio, I have a USB Apollo interface, Apollo twin. It's the USB kind since I have just a regular, uh, not an Apple, but just a regular desktop computer. And then a mic preamp. So all of this has to do with audio. I'm still a huge noob when it comes to it, but I think I got it set up correctly. Hook up the mic all the way to the USB interface in the preamp together. So, and then I got some new uh, headphones as well. I heard these were pretty good. So I got these, the Pro's limited edition ones that have a little black on the outside instead of the gray. I thought that was pretty cool. Next up, I have these two things, which just make it nice, cleaner and cozier of putting my Sleeves, which I use now and a bunch of other stuff in there. I just got those from like Amazon. Pretty good, nothing too pricey for those. And they make it look pretty cool. Eventually I'll put some things on top of it to make it look even cooler. All right, let's get to this. This is actually, I am gonna step back really quickly. I know people want me to talk about my computer. So what I'll do, and I apologize about the wire mess. I'm gonna clean that up. 
Just for now, it looks like a jungle and I wanted to start recording videos in my studio for y'all. This is my computer. It is amazing. It is VR ready, has a GTX GeForce 1070 graphic card in it. I had it custom made a while ago just so y'all can kind of see on the inside. I didn't make it too flashy or anything just because I'm not really bringing it to places and it's gonna be hidden down there for the most part, but I thought it does basically run anything on ultra graphics mode in everything for games and editing, which is what I do, and it does an amazing job. So if you want specs for that, definitely check out the description. I'll put all the specs for my computer there. I do have this uh, Ewan Racing gaming chair that they sent me a while back. That's the same one, it helps with back posture, it's amazing. This is just a regular old chair that I think I got from like Walmart or something. I like this one better for the background because y'all can see more of this, which we'll get to very shortly, I promise. And then this is the card unboxing area. I'll actually probably still be using my iPhone 8 Plus to record the shots in 60 frames per second. So y'all can do it at home too, yay! And it really brings me to when I first started out the channel, I was just on my like drawers in my room. Now we have this, and I say we, cause we're a community hard squad, this amazing studio, which I hope you are enjoying so far. So this is like the shelf of wonder, but on steroids now. I have all my Build-A-Bears, the Pokemon trading card game sign that lights up, some random Pokeballs, you know, that have the cards in it, and then random other smaller plushies that are from the Pokemon Center in Japan. We got a lovely little cute Mew right there, and then a Natu, how do you do? You are also seeing these booster boxes. These are empty booster boxes, minus the fact that I have the sleeves still inside all of these boxes. Every single one of these booster boxes, base set, jungle, fossil, Team Rocket, Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge was opened up on this channel. And you can go watch those. Just search for Lean Heart Base Set Booster Box Opening Jungle and yada, yada, yada. I thought those were colorful, really embody what I do on this channel, which is open up lots of vintage packs and more to come, by the way. And uh, so I thought that would be right front and center on the shelf of wonder. This itself, glossy, I got the glossy one shelves. Built these myself, was also very difficult. Don't suggest you do it. Got those from Ikea. Oh, they're, I'm not going to be moving them or anything, so they shouldn't fall apart. This is a sealed box of Kellogg's Pokemon that I got and showed in a video semi-recently. Yeah, it's from the year 2001, and no, I'm not going to be eating those. This is a Shiny Magikarp. How you doing? Everybody say hi to Shiny Magikarp. Here's some more nostalgic stuff, the original starter deck. Some Team Rocket Returns boxes, which I thought were just frankly amazing to look at. Some random Pokeballs that were from Burger King. Welcome back, Burger King. They have Pokemon toys again. There's a Snorlax plushie from the Pokemon Center. And then I got random nostalgic items on each row. Detective Pikachu game, a cool little Pikachu card, the original OG Game Boy Color games, or just regular Game Boy games. And then random shelves filled with very cool things like the Eevee Tamagotchis, the Eeveelution Tamagotchi, random books, Professor Oak cards that were actually signed from the voice actor himself. I thought that was incredible. He actually signed both of those and those are from the base set. And then moving along, got my own very Natu how do you do shelf from stuff people have sent me from the Heart Squad. Definitely love repping, uh, representing all the stuff you send me. There's random old packs like the Topps movie pack cards and stuff that I thought were pretty cool. Here are very cool Mew and Psyduck, like Hasbro toys, electronic toys that actually talk. I thought those look amazing, new in the box, both of them. Then I got those Kanto tins that you see in the background. I told you I would put that box on my shelf. This is something that a Heart Squad fan made me. Very cool, had to put that up. Got a little coffee mug. Lean Heart plays custom-made controller for the Nintendo Switch. Next up, some more plushies because I didn't know what to put there. And the Lapras plushie is pretty cool, to be honest. Same with Meowth and the little terrarium, like what's inside a Pokeball. Very nice Umbreon in there, and then just a random Pokeball there. Some more plushies that I thought would look cool in the background, especially the Lugia standing up over there. And then, of course, my boy Squirtle. You can't go wrong with him. Next up, I have a little Detective Pikachu shelf along with my name that another Heart Squad member made of the Perler Beats. That, I opened up that Detective Pikachu chest semi-recently. 
course you know what that is. Pokemon the first movie VHS tape. Have to have that displayed. Thought it looks pretty cool. There's the original Pokemon manga right there with the Pokeball that used to have cards on the inside. And then as you saw before, that is a Squirtle in a Pokeball, a glass crystal Pokeball. Squirtle soft drink. Don't worry, I haven't drinking him. He's protecting it uh, oh, over there as well. Sorry, I just hit you over there. There's a little Squirtle crossing. And then of course the Kanto League gym badges, which are clearly not in order. So there is the whole shelf of wonder. By the way, all of this is essentially still a work in progress. I definitely welcome your criticism or improvements or cool things that I can continue to put on the walls or everywhere. So definitely let me know in the comment section your thoughts. This is just some extra room for I'll put storage and random things. Just I like how clean it looks right now, especially just with all the foam on the walls, the blackout shades, the cool stuff over here. It just, this is my dream studio that I've always wanted. All right, squad, I hope you enjoyed this tour. I think I hit everything, but if I didn't, or if you wanna know more information, let me know in the comment section. Maybe I'll do a little follow-up video in another opening that I do, but you're seeing it. This is something of a dream for me. Like I said before earlier in the video, I used to do Pokemon card openings just on the top of my chest of drawers in my room. And I would put up a background that would fall behind the chest of drawers and you know it's happened to you as well. And then I would never see that again for a while that I'd have to find it. Look at what we've come to now, Heart Squad. We have a whole studio that I hope I will continue to make better for y'all but also provide the most quality, entertaining card opening experience that you will see on the internet. This is what we got. I'm really, really proud of it. And I'm even more proud of y'all hard squad, especially for those still tuned into this video. But I appreciate y'all support and I can't wait. We are about to hit 500,000 subscribers and this has been an incredible journey. I thank y'all so, so much for joining me on the journey and I can't wait for the future. My name is Lean Hearts. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.